Could Prince Harry be called to deputize for King Charles while we're dealing with a very unprecedented double health scare with major concerns over which royals will be left to undertake official royal duties. You guys, we have a lot of juicy royalty to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the royal daily tea. <music> So could Prince Harry be asked to deputize for King Charles now that Prince William is incapacitated to care for his wife, Catherine, the Princess of Wales? So we're going to go through this discussion and talk about the royal succession rules. Now, a lot of people were up in arms considering the fact that we had two huge announcements yesterday pertaining to the royal family. We had the shocking news that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, underwent a very serious abdominal operation where she is going to be in the hospital for two weeks and then out of commission until around Easter. Prince William made the announcement that he is canceling all of his formal engagements and he is taking off and will step down from his official duties for several weeks. Then we got the announcement that King Charles himself next week is going to undergo surgery for an enlarged prostate. Now that is going to be a very quick and very easy operation. However, considering the fact he is 75 and he is the king, it does raise the question, who's going to take over now that three members of the royal family King Charles, Prince William, and Catherine are not available. So many people were wondering, well, exactly who would be in charge. Now, again, we do have something called the Counselors of State, which means they could step in and act on behalf of the king if he is not able to perform or undertake his royal duties. Now, some people suggested that Prince Harry could return to the royal fold as he is fifth in line to the throne and the next adult after Prince William. Now, in order to be a, a counselor of state, it is the first five people in line to the throne who are over the age of 21. However, there are many more rules and some new stipulations that have been added. One, you have to have a UK residence, and we all know that Prince Harry was booted out of Frogmore Cottage last year. Not to mention, they want it to be working royals. But the current counselors of state are Queen Camilla, Prince Andrew, Princess Beatrice, and Prince Harry. Well, right now, we all know that Prince Andrew and Prince Harry are two people nobody wants to see take over the throne. Nobody. The other question is Princess Beatrice, although she is over the age of 21, although she is technically in the right line of succession, she's not a working royal and therefore she doesn't really have the experience to take over. Now, back in 2022, the king had asked Parliament to add two more royals, his sister, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward, to the list, as Harry and Andrew are unlikely to be called upon because they are no longer working royals. So the politicians fast-tracked the changes, and there are now seven current councillors of state. Now, Prince Harry, who is a counselor of state, they say it is possible he could deputize for the king, but we all know that is very unlikely considering the fact that I believe people in the UK would 100% revolt. In my opinion, if something was to happen, I believe that Prince Edward or Princess Anne would be the two people to step up. Princess Beatrice, in my opinion, 
really just doesn't have the experience. And of course, Prince Andrew, nope, nope, nope. That would never, ever happen. So the fact that people actually think that we're going to call upon Prince Harry to go over and act on his father's behalf is 100% laughable, but I really do believe that Prince Andrew and Prince Harry need to be removed from the counselors of state permanently. They shouldn't even be listed as actual people that if something was to happen, that they would be able to step in. It is very, very dangerous to have these two people on the list. So what do you guys think about that, about the fact that we have basically three key members of the royal family right now who are incapacitated? A lot of people are wondering, you know, what's happening? Because when Charles goes under the knife next week with William not partaking of royal duties and Catherine going through a huge medical recovery, it does beg the question, who's running the country? <laughs> who's doing the official royal duties. But again, I believe Princess Anne and Prince Edward are going to step in and help support their brother, King Charles. But what do you guys think about that? Leave me your comments down below. Well, it looks like one of my 2024 royal predictions might be coming true as word has come out that Princess Beatrice might be asked to stand in for Catherine while she is recovering in the hospital. Now we know right now we're kind of having a little bit of a mini royal crisis with three of our main royals incapacitated. We have Catherine, the Princess of Wales, Prince William, and next week, King Charles will also be in the hospital undergoing a minor medical procedure. But the problem is we do have a very slimmed down monarchy and many of the senior working royals like Princess Anne, Prince Edward and Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, they're at capacity. They cannot take on any more duties. So now that Catherine is out of commission for almost three months. She will not be able to perform any royal duties until after Easter. That's in April. We're talking two and a half months. And Prince William has cleared all of his engagements for the time being. So considering the fact that you have two working royals who are now not working and we have a very slim monarchy, in my opinion, I do believe that Princess Beatrice could be asked to step in and perform minor royal duties for Catherine. You have to remember, Princess Beatrice is part of the Counselors of State, so she would be the perfect person to fill in for Catherine on one of her small, minor, one-off royal engagements. And like I said in my royal predictions, I do believe in the next couple of years, we will see Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, and possibly Lady Louise performing royal duties because the slim down monarchy guys is getting pretty slim and the fact that we have three senior royals out of commission is kind of highlighting the fact we don't have enough of them to go around so what do you guys think do you think that princess beatrice is going to step in on the interim for catherine leave me your comments guys down below. So I am sure nobody is shocked or surprised at the amount of disgusting and vile comments that have been on the internet from the sugars ever since it was announced that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, was in the hospital undergoing a huge abdominal surgery. Now look, if you don't like Catherine, if you don't like the royal family, that's fine. I don't like Harry and Meghan, but to wish pain and harm and sickness and suffering upon another person, in my opinion, it's truly 
evil. Now, I might make jokes about Harry having one brain cell and Megsy baby, but I would never, ever wish you know, pain or sickness upon anybody. If news had come out that Meghan Markle was in the hospital undergoing a major operation where she's going to spend two weeks recovering and then she's going to be two and a half months in recovery and that Harry had canceled everything, I would be concerned. And I would say, you know what? I hope she has a speedy recovery. And that is 100% the truth. I do not wish pain or suffering or illness on anybody, even people I don't like. But we all know the sugars really tend to go there in vileness. Now, we do know that Harry and Meghan, yes, they get a lot of negativity online and people say horrific things about them. However, in my opinion, that is 100% their fault. 100% by their own design. They are the ones who started it, okay? The royal family didn't start it. They were the ones who were attacked. And for the past four years, they are the ones who have endured a mass amount of hatred that was literally created by Harry and Meghan. So in my opinion, all of this vileness and the bullying and the negativity and the sugars and the megxiteers 100% lies in court of blame for Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan could have left the royal family and, and gone off and done their own thing. They didn't have to spew their family drama to the public. They didn't have to, you know, you know, spew horrible racist allegations against their family. They 100% did it for revenge because they were greedy little grifters who were crying that they didn't get their way. And now it has turned into a huge giant that they cannot contain. And it's absolutely sad and horrific. I was on TikTok the other day and I literally had to block a creator. She was on there saying, oh look, Catherine's in the hospital. Well, it's your fault. Karma, you should have been nicer to Megan because you're a bully, you're a racist, you deserve everything that you're getting. And people in the comments were agreeing with her. One person was saying, oh, she's getting a tummy tuck. She's going to have plastic surgery. You bet she's going to come out with a brand new face. These people are delusional. They are vile. And let's be real here. Catherine, if she was getting a tummy tuck or plastic surgery, they're not going to publicly announce she's in a hospital. She's going to go away to a secret island spa location to get a facelift. But Catherine doesn't, one, need a facelift, and she needs a tummy tuck like I need a third boob. Okay, that woman is skinnier than skinny, not one ounce of fat on her body. So let's get real here. She is not undergoing the knife for plastic surgery. William would not be clearing his calendar if she was getting cosmetic surgery. She would not be out of commission for almost three months if she was getting cosmetic surgery surgery. So the fact that these people are so vile and spreading hatred based upon accusations that Harry made against his own family, it is just so sad. And I hope he's happy. I hope he's proud of himself, of the monster that he created. Yes, Harry and Meghan get bullied, but in my opinion, they don't get bullied nearly as half of what the royal family receives. They have created so much hatred and division, and it's very, very sad. He could have kept it all behind closed doors, but again, he sat there on Oprah Winfrey, and he continues to sell stories to the highest bidder. So what do you think about the sugars and their horrific comments that they're making about Catherine online? And do you blame Harry and Meghan for the horrific fallout for the royal family? Well, guys, that is all the royal news that I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And let me know if you like the new format 
where I take off the tea porn. Let me know if you like the new intro or if you preferred the tea porn video. Leave it in the comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate you being here, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.